Item number SCP-6187, Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures, the Foundation Anomalous Space Telescope, FAST, is presently monitoring the activities of all known SCP-6187, as SCP-6187 are currently undetectable through non-anomalous means, no further containment procedures are required at this time. Description SCP-6187 is a species of colossal space-bearing organisms which have been identified in over 7,500 star systems within 12.5 kilo light-years of Earth. The first discovery by the Foundation Anomalous Space Telescope, FAST, Launched in 1999, FAST utilizes techniques derived from the study of SCP-2154 and SCP-BEEP, allowing for detailed observation of distant stars in real time. In 2002, mature instances of SCP-6187 vary between 25 and 40 kilometers in length making them the largest known members of the Orion Perseus Ecological Supersystem, OPES. Note the Living Universe in SCP Foundation Journal, published 2009, Revision 2018. Due to the distance from Earth, much of SCP 6187's biology and biochemistry remain speculative. SCP 6187 or microtree and capable of self-propulsion through unknown means, traveling at recorded speeds of up to 0.12 c. Instances typically travel in parts consisting of 5 to 10 members, and are capable of long-distance communication through the emission of electromagnetic radiation. SCP-6187 are omnivorous, and subsist primarily on natural stellar gigaflora, such as Dyson trees. SCP-6187 are capable of sexual reproduction and have been observed to practice a complex mating ritual which may take up to 18 months to complete. See document 6187 Venus for details. After an indeterminate period, female SCP-6187 will produce an expelling egg measuring up to 1.5 kilometers in diameter. These are typically deposited within a distance of 0.4 to 2.5 astronomical units of the nearest star, depending on the surface temperature. While over 2,000 SCP-6187 eggs have been identified, less than 100 has been found to hatch. All such cases were deposited prior to FAST's development suggesting that SCP-6187 eggs require an incubation period spanning no less than two decades. Currently, the nearest known SCP-6187 part is located in the Epsilon Cygni Penetry System, 72 light years away. Few SCP-6187 have been observed within 300 light years of Earth. This is presumably due to the local bubble's relatively low abundance of vacuum-based organisms. Hypothesized to have resulted from a supernova believed to have taken place between 10 and 20 million years ago. However, paleofecal samples recovered from the asteroid belt suggest that SCP-6187 may have been active in the solar system no later than 36 million years before for present. Addendum on June 9th, 2023, FAST detected a solitary instance of SCP-6187, designated SCP-6187 Kiddos, located in the inner oak cloud, approximately 0.8 light years from Earth. This specimen is currently traveling at 0.1 C, and observation has revealed that its prominent dorsal crest is on display, indicating a heightened sense of sexual arousal. It is hypothesized 
that SCP-6187 Kettles may have intercepted radio emissions originating from Earth and mistaken them for those produced by members of its species. Should SCP-6187 Kettles maintain its current speed and trajectory, it will collide with Earth on the 14th of February, 2034, resulting in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. As current orbital weapon platforms are insufficient in preventing a collision, the Foundation and the Global Co Coalition have agreed to divert all non-essential funding to it, Project Ahab. This joint initiative calls for the construction of an automated spacecraft carrying one 50 megaton atomic warhead, which is currently scheduled for launch on December 2028 in order to intercept and neutralize SCP-6187 Kettles at a distance of no less than 50 million kilometers from Earth, as the entity is expected to be detectable to civilian astronomers by no later than 2026. The Foundation and GOC have briefed all current world leaders on the threat posed by SCP-6187 Kettles. Due to the scarcity of reliable information regarding SCP-6187's biochemistry, it is currently uncertain whether or not SCP-6187 Kettles is capable of withstanding nuclear detonation.